On the last record, when I went into the studio, part of the goal was to get outside of the box, outside of my comfort zone. But with this record, it's like there was no box. Well, I'm going down. Going into the studio to make this record, I had so much more motivation and confidence than I have ever before because our last record, Belmont Boulevard, was nominated for a Juno Award. It placed in the top 10 on the Billboard Blues charts. And I had a whole bunch of ideas. I wanted to go in and record different grooves and, and keep it focused on the songs. I've known Colin Linden and been a fan of his for as long as I can remember. We run into each other everywhere. I even see him on the TV show Nashville. So I'm so happy that we finally had an opportunity to work together. I was contacted by JW about doing a live album. And I was kind of intrigued by that idea. But I kind of felt like just my instincts told me from what he wanted to do, that that would maybe be a little better served by actually going into the studio and doing the studio. Two hearts beating fast. Something I really focused on with this record was to make it as well-rounded as possible. I wanted the singing and the songwriting to be as strong as the guitar playing. So I brought Dick Cooper on from the Cooper Brothers to co-write a bunch of the songs. And uh, I think we really got to exactly where we want to be. Colin's got a really organic style of producing. Uh, he uses a lot of analog gear. We recorded live off the floor. And that's a style of producing that really lent itself well to the direction we wanted to take with this project. Wanted off my chest, but some things are better left done. Colin put together a great band for this recording. He had Dominic Davis come in on bass. He's uh, recorded with Wanda Jackson, Tom Jones, Beck, but he's best known for his touring and recording with Jack White. We had Brian Owings on drums, killer groove. And I mean, this guy has worked with everyone from Emmy Lou Harris to Robert Plant. And he had this box of tricks, literally, that he brought to the studio. Everything from shakers to tambourines to this wood plank with a chain on it, which is used on How Many Hearts. On keys, we had Kevin McKendry. He's a monster piano player and organ player. He's best known for touring with Brian Setzer, but he's also recorded with Delbert McClinton, uh, George Thorogood, and, uh, and actually one of my friends, Anson Funderburg, one of my heroes. I always think it's really important to have the touring band on the record. Not only are they out there on the road with me, but they're also great musicians. Laura sounds awesome on bass on this record. And Matt, it was his first time recording in a big studio. And uh, man, his shuffle sounds so good. The players really brought their very best energy to it. I think everybody was just in a good mood and good spirit. Some of his guitar playing that he did just live off the floor was just superb, really superb. I'd say it's a record with a lot of heart. Colin and I had a common goal on this record and it was to make it sound as honest as possible and to have as much heart as possible. And when I listen to it now, I think that anyone listening to this is getting an honest and pure version of me as an artist. And that's what matters most to me.